Presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to use a kinetic typography video overlay in Pro Presenter. Hi and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about Pro Presenter and related stuff, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you can be the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share. I've partnered with Sam DeZeo at SmartDesign.Church to bring you this tutorial. Look for all his links below. He created the animation, and I'm going to show you how to use it in ProPresenter. So stick around, because after the tutorial, I'm going to uh, show you how you can download these files and use them to take your Christmas services up a notch. Today, I'm partnering with Sam from SmartDesign.Church. Here's his YouTube channel, which I've already subscribed to, and I suggest that you do too. Here is his website, Smart Design. See what he did there? Dot church, and he's also got a Facebook group, so I've uh, joined that as well. And he did me a huge solid and made these uh, motion graphics that I'm about to show you, so that you can take your Christmas service up to the next level. So. Here we are, and the first thing that I want to show you is this is uh, Angels We Have Heard on High. It's actually not the third day version. I just had most of the lyrics already in, so I altered that. And um, if you join, uh, if you allow me to send you this presentation, I'll have that corrected and have all this in here. But the first thing that you should know is you see how this is just black background? It's actually a transparent background. So Sam made this in After Effects so that it would have a transparent background. Uh, it's encoded as a ProRes 4444 video so that includes alpha and if it helps you that's kind of similar to what a PNG file does where it has transparency in the file itself it's a larger file but has transparency so a couple of things that I've done here first off you see how this is showing up against the background but if I clear all so we have a black background I click on it again, it's showing up against a black background. If I wanted to use a video background, I can click there and it shows up against the video background. So I can change this background depending on the feel of the song. If you were doing the third day version, you might want a different background than if you're doing uh, a choir version. Maybe you want something more like that. So you could just put that in as the first one. Another thing that I did is you'll notice that I showed you that it has this uh, motion in the text. So how would you show that on the stage display? There's no better time to invest in yourself and your team. Imagine what your weekend services would be like if you were confident that whoever was running ProPresenter could face any challenge quickly and easily. Imagine not having to train new people, but being able to give them access to training that will get them ready without you having to lift a finger or answer a single question. If that sounds like a dream come true, I've created ProPresenter and other church tech resources just for you. If you'd like to get access to them all for only a dollar for the first month, and join a private community of other church techies, just go to tdm.fyi ctututorial. 
I'm always adding more content and answering new questions. So head over and start your first month today. At only a dollar, the only thing you have to lose is all the wasted time you're spending looking for answers and then training your team with what you eventually learn. Oh, and I've added a multi-site license at a special price for limited time, so check that out too. And if you'd rather pay with the purchase order, just scroll down below the prices on that same page and click Pay with a PO. Or drop me a line, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, along with the PO number, the name of your church, and whether you'd like the yearly or multi-site license. Now back to the tutorial. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... I've already created a stage display with this specific layout, so I'm going to add a queue. This is a ProPresenter only, a ProPresenter 6 only feature, by the way. So add a queue, stage display layout, notes only is what I called it. Again, I'll include that. And so as soon as you click on that, it is going to switch your stage display layout to the notes only section. So let me go ahead and I believe it's under notes. Where is it? Right there. Stage display preview. So let's take a look at that. You'll notice that for the stage display we have angels we have heard on high sweetly singing over the plains or or the planes, as the case may be, on the next slide. So when I click on this one, it shows up, and just as you'd expect, the current one is up here, and the next one is up here, and the mountains in reply. So I click on that, and the mountains in reply comes up here, and echoing their joyous strains comes back here. So let me toggle that back. Uh, the keyboard shortcut on the Mac is Command-3. So let's show you what the final thing looks like. So angels we have heard on high sweetly singing over the plains. And that can stay up as long as you need it to. Because it's, once the movement's done, it's just right there. It just stopped. Then the next one starts where this one stopped. And the mountains in reply echoing their joyous strains. And then we go into the Glorias. And in Excelsis Deo. Pretty simple. Now let me show you what I've done to make all this happen. First, let me show you the stage display layout that I've gone into. Configure stage display. Notes only is the one that I'm using, and you'll notice that all I have is current slide notes and next slide notes selected. So if you need other things, you can add them into this layout. Uh, but I've got borders and uh, labels showing, but I don't have to have that. It depends on what you want to do. So that is this layout. I could also, you know, make this bigger, uh, put them next to each other, etc. So I'm not going to mess with that right now. That's just part one. So that's how we can have the lyrics showing up. And let me show you where I pasted those two. So if I right click and edit slide, You'll notice here in this second tab is where I put the lyrics, where it says Stage Display Notes. I could have alternatively just left the lyrics where they were and made them very small. Here, let me find one that I haven't done yet. So, come a door on bended knee down here. I could, I can either cut that and paste it here. And that'll do the same thing. Or I'm going to undo that. I can also um, move this to where you can't see it. So that's another option if you had the regular stage display layout. Another option is just to make this really small. 
Let's see here. Yeah, so let's, instead of 58, let's make it 1. See, really small. So now it's here, and it will show up on the stage display in one of the regular configurations. But that's not how I chose to do it. I chose to do it, as I was saying before, second tab, stage display notes, bam. Just pasting that there. Now, in order to get two layers of video on top of each other, I've got to put the video in on the slide itself. So this is uh, verse 3. So let's find where I have that. So I've got that on my media drive under 2018. First one, see, come to Bethlehem and see him whose birth the angels sing. Come to Bethlehem, blah, blah, blah. And select that. Let's make sure that that fits the output size. I'm sending you the 1080p video, but in my case, I'm outputting at 720p. So that's why it's set like that. You'll need to change the size here to whatever you're actually using. Unless it is 720p, then bam, you're done. So there we go. That's how I add this. I would continue on. So the previous one is come to Bethlehem and see him whose birth the angels sing. So now I need come adore on bended knee. Come adore on bended knee. So that one's there. Next slide. I haven't yet cut this, so select that. Click X. Second one. Go to here. Bam. And then add the video. Looking for Christ the Lord, the newborn king. Okay, so let me show you what the whole thing looks like here. I don't think I put those in yet either. So, well, I've shown you this part. Let's start off with this Gloria. Okay, now I go into Come to Bethlehem and See, Him Whose Birth the Angels Sing, again showing you the preview that that's what the stage display shows. You might not even need this if you don't do a stage display. And then I go to the next slide, Come Adore on Bended Knee. Again, showing you the stage display, come adore on bended knee. Next one, Christ, Christ the Lord, the newborn king. Christ the Lord, the newborn king, etc. So, I'm going to have all this ready for you to download. Uh, you can put whatever background you want behind it, and since it stops, however long it takes your people to sing that, you just leave it up as long as you want, and then at the appropriate time, go to the next slide. So that should work for just about every arrangement. Uh, we don't have verse 4, but if you only do verses 1 through 3, we've got those. And um, you should be able to use this, and people will say, How'd you do all this? And you can just tell them, you know, it's just something I've had in my back pocket for a special occasion. Or you can tell them the truth that I sent it to you. Either way, doesn't matter to me. Um, because I'm giving this to you so that you can put it in your back pocket for a special occasion. So, that's technically true. Although, I really don't want to encourage you to lie. But you get what I'm saying. So, hope that helps. So, that's how you do it. 
you add the actual lyrics to the notes section for each slide. You create a stage display layout to show just the notes. And then you add videos to the slides layer. Next time, I'll show you how to split up the video file into single slides instead of one big one. But before that, you can get this ProPresenter bundle along with all the files you need to do this by going to tdm.fyi slash angels typography. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge and want me to help train the people at your church or organization, just go to tdm.fyi slash CTU tutorial and join for the first month for only a dollar. And that's on the monthly plan, but for your first month, it would be free on the yearly or multi-site plans. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity. Thank you.